Welcome back. Israeli soldiers are now operating inside Gaza City one month after Hamas carried out its terror attack in Israel. Skylar Henry reports as family members of some hostages speak out. Israeli Defense Forces released video Tuesday showing the destruction of a tunnel in Gaza, which they said was a Hamas structure. Israel's defense minister says for the first time in decades, Israeli forces are in the heart of Gaza City as they try to dismantle the terror organization responsible for the attacks on Israeli communities a month ago today. The ground war is expected to be long and difficult. Hamas released footage showing what it says are Hamas fighters targeting Israeli military positions. As the fighting intensifies, many Palestinian civilians remaining in Gaza City fled. Some expressed support for Hamas as they evacuated. Even I'm not Hamas, but all the Palestinian people together with Hamas, and Hamas is the beast. Hamas says the death toll in Gaza is now more than 10,000, including thousands of children. Israel continues to reject calls for a ceasefire until Hamas releases the hostages. Relatives of some of the 240 held captive visited lawmakers here in Washington to share their stories. This man's nine-year-old cousin, Ohad, is among the hostages. Ohad had a birthday two weeks ago. He's a smart, sweet boy. He shouldn't spend his ninth birthday in captivity. He should not be in captivity at all. No kid should and no civilian should. In Tel Aviv, Israelis held a moment of silence to mark the one month since the attacks, remembering the 1,400 killed and the hostages waiting to come home. The U.S. Department of State says it has helped more than 400 U.S. citizens and other eligible individuals leave Gaza.